The <laughs> first human being yeah. who drives is a woman. Yeah. And then now, now the, the popular thing is podcast, right? The <laughs> first human being yeah. who drives is a woman. Yeah. Yes. Oh. And without woman, the and whole car industry wouldn't exist. What? It's not Henry Ford? No, no, no. So, the, oh, of, they, they say the person who invented the car is Carl Benz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Mercedes Benz, Carl yeah, Benz. Carl ben. But back then, they were not called Mercedes Benz. They were okay. called Benz and C. Okay. This company. So, he, this guy is an inventor, so he invented a car, but he believed it is of no use. Oh. Really? Okay. Because horses can ride anywhere, yeah. horses will just eat some grass by the side of the yeah, road yeah. and then can carry on their way, right? Cars need gasoline, where do I get gasoline? Oh, yeah, I can only buy it from some chemical yeah. plant. True. There's no such thing as <laughs> petrol station and all that, right? So, you just put it there. Like how uh, you know, usually it's genius... It's kind of like what we're saying electric car today. Yeah. Right? But his wife... Bertha oh. Benz, you know women when they are determined, they go all out without thinking much, right? Bertha Benz is like, I don't care what my husband says, I'm right. going to convince people his invention works. Ah. And during the process of doing it, right, he ran out of money, the wife sold all her dowry. Oh, I know The wife sold yeah, okay. all her dowry to support the husband into the creation of this first car, car in the world. Yeah. And then she's not happy that her husband just leave it in the in you know in the workshop or whatever uh, after building it. Yeah. She took it out without her husband's knowledge. Yeah. Asked the kids to come up and she drove 100 kilometers. Oh my god. Wow. Through villages and yeah, all that. Yeah, to, to prove showcase, to people. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know this. It's a woman. And we have women to thank for the kind that's yeah. Because, oh. Yes, yes. Yeah. And she discovered her husband is, a, is an idiot. The story is like barely told by Mercedes or yeah. Yeah, in a way, I mean, they, of course Mercedes did try to, to tell it, yeah, but, yeah. But, but every time I tell this to women who proclaim that, shocked. oh, we have, <laughs> we have nothing to do with cars, cars is a guy thing, then I'll bring this up. Yeah, I validate. I'm a very good driver, I parallel my very well. Oh, my wife as well. They are right? She was like, why people have this notion that oh women can't drive, right? Yeah. I think it's it's something that that it's just like a kid. Oh, I'm bad in maths. Yeah, that's <laughs> All right. So 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 what car do you drive now? Your own car? Yeah, I drive a Volvo XC60. Uh, so I switched nice. to this like hybrid. Oh, I love it. And you know, you drive around and it's completely quiet and it's smooth. I like the electric ride a lot more. So I will try to charge it every night. And then my petrol consumption is like once a month I have to pump petrol. It's crazy. Compared to the old days uh, where every week you're running into a petrol station, right? Uh, uh, I, I do that every week. Yeah, you do that. I, I do my weekend drives. Yeah, yeah. But, but you, so your usage will be home, office, home, office. Yeah, right? mostly, so I, yeah. Most, but no, I get about 30 kilometers uh, on an electric charge. It's enough. Like, within KL, it's not, um, I don't have to go on highways very much. So and then you can always recharge, right? But um, nowadays I'm seeing a lot more shopping malls with the electric charge points. But it's so frustrating because you need an app, there's no signal. Yeah. yeah, it's like they don't do it like in a conducive way or they'll have it all bent, you know. You have to find the security guards, they'll pull it down and it's just that part is what frustrates me. But the rest of it I love it. I love I before I was on a driving a Volkswagen Tip One, mm. it's a very smooth drive. But an electric car you just feel like you're like sneaking in. It's but it not goes into electric yes. mode, right? That smoothness. Yeah, 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 yeah. But sometimes I drive out here, right? But people don't have any idea you're behind them. Ah. So you have no choice but you have to honk, right? <laughs> and then they jump and I'm like, that's it. I mean, you think about electric, you're like, yeah, okay, that's where the issue is. You yeah. are UX, right? For pedestrians, they have no idea you're coming behind them. Yeah, that's why the new cars, they, they must emit some sound. Yeah, yeah. Emit the, car. the electric cars, they have some sound going on. <laughs> and you mentioned something about the car cooling is set. Okay, so <laughs> the amazing part, I don't know how it happens, but every time I park the car, so in front of my office, we park under the sun, you know, we park on those street sides. Mm. No matter how long you park there, um, you, you come back out, your car is not a hot box. Something about it. And then I realized things like when I leave the sunroof open, 
um, as the hot guy heats up, you'll know how to close itself, even if the engine's off, right? But I know, I've been told there's other features as to how it does it, but I have no idea how it actually happens. But I'm sure your car is tinted as well, right? It's tinted, yeah, 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 yeah. of course. Okay. It's, in it's Malaysia, I think a lot of us tint, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, of course the tinting helps. Yeah. But not just the tinting. Volvo, actually, every time you, you park the car, after a while, it will pump out all in-car cabin air. Oh, it will so recycle the air. Recycled. Yes, it pushes all the air out and then sucks in new air. <coughs> okay, so that's why you don't have that stale hot box. Okay, and you also got a new car recently, yes, right? Yes, we did. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the BMW, BMW iX. Yeah. Completely electric. Um, it's... I tell you, sometimes we turn it on and we're like, is it on? <laughs> At least with the Volvo, because there's the engine. So, it's a very soft sound, but you, you when to you get used to it, you know it's on, right? Yeah. But um, for i7, we're like, well, <laughs> uh, are we moving? Are we going to move or not? You know? Yeah. Even trying to open the door. Yeah. First day, I was like, uh, my um, family were driving and I was sitting in the back seat. I was like, so how do I open the door? I don't know how to get out. <laughs> it's, it's just so different from... Yeah. It doesn't feel like a car, actually, when you get in. It feels more like... Okay, I get what you mean. I get what you right? mean. Right? It's, it's like a cubicle that is comfortable with a lot of lights, yes. lot of controls you can do stuff with and it moves. Yes, yes, right? yes, yes, yes. <laughs> right, it's too many functions, yeah, yeah. Even, even me, as, yeah. a, as a motoring journalist, yeah. right? I went up, I was like, okay, I know it's intimidating for, for most people, yeah. but even for me, I was trying to look through stuff, right? It, there's the learning curve is... It's quite steep, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> the learning curve is steep. So you also drive this car as per how you use your 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 XC60. You're still keeping your Volvo. Yeah, still keeping my Volvo. So I drive my XC60 a little bit more now as I'm just adjusting. You know, it's like changing phones. So you've got a car recently. I, I'm I'm sure you've done. I, I I don't think you sound like those people who will go like, oh, please go and do coating on my car. All the I only, wrapping, the exterior and all that. What I do for sure, it, all my cars I drive is the tinting. Uh, uh, the important one is because of security. So it actually happened to me before where um, the car in front of me was robbed. You and, witnessed it? Yeah, I witnessed it right in front of me in Publica. You know, there's a traffic light and the yeah. car in front of me, the motorbike didn't spot and just slams through the window. And there's actually passengers holding her hand back there. And the, the guy used a hammer or something, knocked it in and used his uh, helmet, knocked mm. the rest and grabbed the um, bag out of the hand. So obviously when the light turns green, everyone has started moving, but they were so stunned they didn't. So I yeah. had to drive around. And you literally drive around and the woman is still sitting there going, Shock. like she had no, no idea what's Shock. going on. Mm. So I think um, tinting is one of the main things that we Especially always add on. Uh, protection. Right? Yes, with protection. Uh, my, brother, my own brother's car was also rubbed. Yeah, for me as well, tinting is the, the, yeah. the, the most important thing. Right. But sometimes I thought, car makers, right? They could have added it. <laughs> So I used to live in the US. So in the US, the car makers don't even add the reverse camera. It comes oh without God. a reverse camera. So, you know, you go back and you don't think of it because it's so natural, uh, like mm. a, every car has it here. So actually one time my, my brother just reversed straight into a pillar because you forget that, you know, you're in a place where, and then they have this company in the US. I don't know if you've heard of it. They call it bumper, bumper mats. Okay. So <coughs> you'll see it on a lot of nice cars. Yeah, yeah. And then they hang like a rubber mat, like a trapo kind of mat out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So because when people parallel park, they bump into each other to adjust. Because they have no cameras, no sensors in the back. Crazy, right? <laughs> but that's the thing. I mean, I, I understand manufacturing, automotive yeah. manufacturing, right? It's, it, it's scary when you understand how cheap things oh, are man. when it comes to manufacturing at a large scale. Yeah. They're adding something like a tin, which costs yeah, a couple of thousands. More. The tint alone can yeah. be more expensive than their infotainment system by cost-wise. Oh. By cost-wise, yeah, okay. a, a lot of people. I mean, I'm, I'm sure if you if you have anything to do with manufacturing, you you will understand that every little have bit scale, yeah, yeah, everything, yeah. right? So it's impossible for them to add this in. But in Malaysia, don't most people add some sort of a tint? Yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody do. does. Everybody but, does, right? But just now we're talking about car makers. You know, yeah, they design their cars. You know, why 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 wouldn't they include it at the first yeah. place, right? But 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 to, uh, to to explain to other people or explain to you when it comes to manufacturing, it's that's a, a huge chunk of cost oh. if they were to add it in. Uh, oh, so right, we have to okay. do it. 
Yeah, but absolutely. ultimately, if everyone in our, you know, cars are also assembled here, if everyone's going to end up doing it, they might as well add a package, you know, like a add-on. Yeah, so, so they, they turn it to retail. Like, yeah. It's like when you buy a car, like when you buy your yeah. Volvo, they may be partnered with certain brands, brands you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I know a lot of them partner with Glasstech, you yeah. know, then, then, then it just happened. You know, just, yeah, just, the minute you buy it, it goes straight to Glasstech yeah, and yeah, it gets yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, tinted yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. So, do you do any like, like, like dark protection tinting? I don't. I don't. I am a bit more. Um, yeah, I drive around a lot at night, so roadblocks are quite common. Uh, so I think it's not very legal, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah so. But now the rear windows, you can do it. You can do it, right? I like the sun actually. So I like. I'm a diver, so I go out diving a lot and I love sitting in the sun. During MCO is crazy because you're indoors the whole time. Yeah. I have to go sit by my window and kind of like look for the, you know. And my mom had to be like, why don't you just sit in the car? At least there's a tint there. <laughs> you know your house window doesn't have it. And I'm like trying to get a tan like that. <laughs> you're gonna get I yeah. used to have really dark tint. Oh. Then I realized uh, as, as, as I grow, as I get older, Cannot see. night night vision, I, I prefer lighter tint now. Yeah. And uh, I've also noticed another thing, when people can't see you, you can't smile and say thank That's you. That's true. You know? Or when you're angry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, about your car, your iX, the new one, uh, you have an app, again, another app, but that app can help you turn on the air conditioning oh. while your car is parked, okay, while the car is yes, locked. Yes. Before you arrive, yeah, you yeah. can even set time and all that. So, so the BMW in this sense, BMW is quite advanced. Yeah, yeah. And of course, uh, they also have what have a feature. I'm not sure if they, the salesman will tell you, like if you if I mean touch wood, if you were to go into an accident or whatnot, your car will sense it um, and will inform uh, emergency BMW. services. Okay. If the airbags are, if the airbags Deployed. come out, the car will call you. Someone will yeah. call you and yeah. ask. Is everything okay? Yeah. If you don't respond, they will call emergency services, send your GPS location, yeah. and someone will come. Or if you're driving at night, you notice a car following you. I mean, you can call the police, but if the police ask you, where are you? You wouldn't yeah, know. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. you can use that feature. The feature, that person will know where you are and can help you alert. Alert and they'll, oh, I BMW, they have this, yeah, yeah, which is something very good also. Yeah, okay. Anyway, thank you so much for, for coming here, yeah. sitting and talking to me about this. So I hope you know, uh, without women, the car industry won't exist. Yeah, I really didn't know. I'm going to go back, you know, and, and tell people this. This is crazy. I have no idea at all. And I even talk about, you know, like, yeah, there's so much to talk about when people say yeah. that, oh, you know, every time uh, BMW uh, celebrated their, their 100 year anniversary, yeah. and then Mercedes will come out with a message that say that, oh, thanks for accompanying us for this 100 years. Yeah. Oh. The, the first 30 years was lonely, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Mercedes said that. But uh, I, if, if, if they were to study, the founders of the current Mercedes Benz were actually employees, employees of the founders of, of BMW. BMW. Yeah. Just that, BMW took the year 1916 yeah. as their as their formation Seven, date eight. but if they, if they count back the way mercedes count back yeah. they went back 20 years earlier than mercedes oh. because the mercedes bands that we know yeah. now was incorporated in 1926 so it's actually not had ford that was the first one ford was the first one who developed the linear uh, manufacturing oh. system oh okay okay okay, you know, okay factories yeah, yeah. one yep, person yep. doing one thing yep 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 uh, they invented uh. that so that drastically pulled down the prices of cars. Right, right. Back then, car making is about a few engineers, right. machining parts to put put up a car together at one yeah. station. Okay. So like like a few men, one yeah. one car like that. Doing one by one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ford was the one to, to created the, the manufacturing okay. system. And and before there were petrol cars, there were yeah. electric cars. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah because electricity came first, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, now, like, nice to see that we're actually reverting back, right? But petrol is more efficient at that point, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's why. Okay. All right. Learned so much there. <laughs> Thank you so much. So I hope the interview isn't too long. Thank no, you no, so it's much. Fine. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Tara. Thank you.